Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Monday. Today we are going to answer some of those burning questions uh, that I keep getting about my new toy, the Director Garment Printer, um, how it's different than sublimation, where it may fall into your small business, um, why it's so expensive. Don't let that turn you off specifically if you are a small business. Um, what, you know, the benefits of it, the drawbacks of it, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So what the first thing I want to do though, is tell you a little bit about what this printer does. So this is a, um, and I have it connected to my computer right now, which is why it has this USB cord, but this is a direct to garment printer, which means it prints directly to the garment. Now it would not print to my black shirt because it's black and this printer in order to keep it at a reasonable, relatively low cost for DTG direct to garment, it does not print white. Okay. White ink is what not only drives price, the price up of direct to garment, but it also is what creates a lot more maintenance because white can get, uh, can clog and different things like that. So this prints everything except white, which means you need lighter color fabrics, or at the very least you need to print the ink needs to be darker than what you're printing on. So for example, I printed a red, I had a red tea towel and I printed a black design on there. That worked fine. Um, if you want, you know, lots of bright colors and different things like that, then you're going to want a gray, a, a, you know, a pastels, those types of things, white, whatever. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how this works. And as we're doing this, we will talk through um, the benefits of this. We'll talk about some of the drawbacks um, and we'll talk about where this may fit in. I really, I can't stress enough. I am talking to small silhouette business owners who are branching out. This $3,500 machine is not going to be for the home hobby crafter. What this is, is for the home crafter who's launching, expanding, offering more in their business, okay? All right, it's an investment, it's a write-off, it's, it, that's what it is, okay? It's not, a, it's not a hobby machine. Now, it is small enough, this is really, the footprint of this is not a whole lot bigger than um, the, a sawgrass um, sublimation printer, okay? So that's part of the benefit of this is that it's small enough that you can fit it in your house the other, or in your you know, limited space. This also is basically an all-in-one. So it comes with this bottom part, which is the oven, the fixing oven, which means you don't need a heat press. Now, most people probably already have a heat press, but you don't need a heat press with this machine. It prints and then it heats it and everything is all done. Okay. All right. So let's, let me show you how this works. Um, this design that I'm going to use is um, a design from Sofancy. It's from the January bundle. I literally just downloaded it. This software, when I say the software is simple, like it couldn't be more simple. I'm going to just show you. I'll start over actually. All you need to do Where's my mouse? I'll put you a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, so I already have it obviously opened up here, but I'll just start completely over. Okay, so you're gonna launch the software and then you're gonna click advanced. And when I say advanced, it's not very advanced. Um, then you're gonna pick what you're going to put it on. I'm putting mine on a, um, we're, we are going to put it on a tote bag and we want the design to be landscape sideways as opposed to portrait. Okay. All right. So that's important because of the next step. Then you're going to click OK and it's going to ask you where you want to import your image. You're going to find your image on your computer. Mine is literally, I downloaded it. There was a zip file. It has the SVG, which you could use in Silhouette Studio to, to cut on vinyl. It's cut on heat transfer vinyl. It has the PNG, which you can print for sublimation, for direct to garment, for stickers. So the great thing about all these designs and why, how this is all related to Silhouette is the designs can be used across the board for all of your programs, okay? All right, so you're just gonna click that you want um, the PNG or the JPEG. It's going to open just like that. Now, I tend to adjust the brightness a bit and the contrast to get the best print. Now, this is already sized, and because I have a large surface, I want it to be the full size, and you're like, the full size of what? The full size of this tray, which I'll show you in a second. Now, this is ready, and all I need to do is click print, but first, I need to prepare my tray. So, we're going to do that. 
I'm gonna come over here. Hopefully you can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, so we have, now, the, the one of the benefits of direct-to-garment is it prints on cotton, okay? That is something that you cannot do with sublimation. So you just need at least 50% cotton for your product. Whatever it is that you're going to print on, it needs to be at least 50% cotton. I think I need to move you back a little bit more so you can kind of get a bigger view here. All right, so I have wine bags that I've done. I have t-shirts um, that I've done. Again, they can be different colors. They just have to be lighter on the lighter side, or they have to be a color in which the ink is darker than the fabric. So like a black, you're going to put print black on um, black ink onto a red shirt, something like that. Okay. All right. This is a brand new blank. So I'm just going to take that off. All right. So here's my bag. Okay. Now remember when we picked landscape. So all I'm going to do here, you have this um, tray. It has, you can either put your, your um, material, piece of fabric or whatever, um, with the top here or here. And because we're doing landscape, I'm gonna do it here. To quickly find the center, I'm just gonna fold this in half. That's, you know, you guys know this one. This is the old HTV trick to align quickly. Then I'm going to put that fold mark. Let's see if I can move you a little bit even closer here. I'm gonna put that fold mark on this line here. So that's the center line. All right, okay, and I'm going to hold it while I just open up, okay? Now, this then needs to be tucked under the tray, okay? It's okay, it has a few little wrinkles for right now because we're gonna get them out in a second. All right, so we'll just smooth this as much as we can and then we're gonna close the tray, okay? Now, this is where it's our printable area, okay? It's eight and a half by 11. They have smaller trays as well if you wanted to do smaller items, although I was able to do this narrow wine bag. I just placed it like this and it was able to work just fine. Okay, now all you have to do is you're gonna go back to your direct to garment printer and you're gonna place the tray directly in, okay? So, no. First thing I'm gonna do is I need to heat this to press the... To press the, um, oh my gosh, I need a third hand. Okay, to get the um, wrinkles out, okay? I'm gonna place that in there and I'm going to press it, okay? We turn, why is it doing that? Okay, hold on. Okay, not ready. Why are you not ready? Oh, it struck, because I had it, um, I had been, I had it warmed up. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so I had been. It then must be a safety feature where if you're not, if it's not active with it, then it, it starts to cool down, which is what was going on. So I have. It started to cool down. I have to wait till it gets back up to 170 degrees Celsius. Now it's ready. Okay, and it's going to. You can't see it, but it's inside this little oven. When I push this this way, there's a press in there that presses down, and it's going to take out the. Um, wrinkles on there. When this is done, this only has to go for 30 seconds, I'm gonna move it up here, and that's where from my computer I'm gonna send it to print. And you're gonna see it's gonna print directly onto my bag, okay? Now, the benefit of this is it's very quick to do. You don't have to worry about going from the printer to um, the uh, heat press or anything like that. It's all right here, okay? You can see the wrinkles have been removed. Now I'm going to place this up here, okay? And now I just go back to my computer, try to get out of the way, and I think what's gonna happen is it's going to tell me that I need to move it down, but we'll see. Okay, so now I just need to click print and print again, and it's going to send this to the printer when I press start over here, okay? Now this begins, and sometimes when you have thicker materials like a tote bag or a sweatshirt, there's like an infrared light that has to go all the way across, and it might tell you you need to lower the tray a little bit, and there's a button on here to lower. This is not telling me that. This is actually just printing, okay? So it's, it's printing right on there. I'm gonna have it so you guys can see. Now, one of the drawbacks of a direct-to-garment is it can only do fabrics. 
it is not going to do like sublimation where you have these gorgeous hard goods that come out very, very professional quality, okay? You are not going to be able to do, don't look at my nails, you are not going to be able to do hard goods with a direct-to-garment printer. However, this comes into play if you already have a sawgrass or an Epson that you've converted for sublimation and people, your customers continually ask you, hey, can you do that on um, can you do something on a shirt? I want to use a, a, a cotton shirt. And if the answer is no, because your sawgrass printer can, has to have at least 65% polyester, this may be something that you want to add to your small business. Again, another one of the drawbacks, it does not do white. However, if you got a direct-to-garment printer that did white, we would be talking about a price point over $10,000. Okay, so this is less than half of that which is for a small at home business it's a really good you know option if you want to add t-shirts you know bags different things like that again you can you could have your kids draw a picture import it into the rolling software and print it out you can use this the designs that you already have you can see it's coming right out when this is done we need to put it back in the oven for what's called fixing that's what makes it uh, permanent on there. So the end effect looks like sublimation. It acts like sublimation. There is no hand to this. Hand meaning you cannot feel this. So now I'm going to show you. Okay, here's our design. You can't see, this is not, it's into the fabric, if you can see that. Okay, so now what I need to do, I can unplug this now because I'm done. Okay, you saw I touched it. It got a little bit on my hand. That's why we need to do this down here, okay? And that is what's called fixing. You can't see that, but this now is three minutes and then we're done, okay? So then I'll show you that when that comes out, okay? So again, I get this feedback every time I talk about this. I'm a home business, this, this is crazy expensive. If, if, excuse me, I'm a home crafter. If you are a home crafter, this is not for you. Just like an embroidery machine may not be for you, just like a sawgrass sublimation printer, just like a high-end heat press, a mug press, a hat press. There are all these things that you can get to add. I want to give you the options. I want to tell you what the pros and cons are. One of the cons, again, is going to be that price tag. But when you put it in line with all other DTG printers, the fact that you can have this um, the compact size, the all-in-one with the fixing and the printer all-in-one, that's what where you're getting it. And for some people, um, this is something that's really going to add to their Etsy shop, their Facebook page, whatever. Now, um, the other thing is, and we're going to talk about this coming up because I get questions constantly about printers. What if you want to print white? Well, then you need a different type of printer. You either need a more expensive direct-to-garment or you need a white toner transfer printer. And those, again, in line with this, but they have uh, their own drawbacks, mainly that they don't print directly to the shirt, that you are literally making a decal, again, a transfer, that then you have to, there are multiple steps. Um, so everything kind of has its place. It's going to be very, very difficult to find something that can do everything, especially at a price point that's affordable for an in-home small business. Now, someone's asking, can you do more than one thing at a time? Yes. One of the benefits of this is you can have something in the printer and in the heat in, and in the fixer at the same time, but you do need an extra tray, okay? So you need to have two trays. And I actually talked to Swing Design, who's selling this, and asked them, can you put together a bundle where you include an extra tray? And they did do that. So I think that would not only speed up production, I think the trays are about $195 off the top of my head. I don't know what it is with the bundle, um, but that is um, definitely an option. It would speed up production. And actually, um, even if you didn't have something in your printer at the time, you could be you know, adding your next bag or shirt or whatever the case may be, okay? Um, I really like it because I can use the designs I already have. The benefit is you're not dealing with specifically on designs that have multiple layers, multiple colors, gradients, shadows, those types of things that are very, very time consuming, if not impossible to do on heat transfer vinyl 
um, the peeling, um, uh, when you have multiple layers, the thick feeling, that's where sublimation, direct to garment, or some type of printable transfer um, is a really good option. Okay, so here, this is now beeping, telling me it's done. Okay, so this is now complete. I'm going to move you back over to my table so we can take this and I can show you what it looks like when it's complete, all done. Okay, so now it's on there. Doesn't come off on my finger like this first one did because I took it, I touched it before it was cured, essentially. Okay, oops. All right, and now I have my bag. Let me back you up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. This is, I mean, how cute is that? And what I love is that this is totally customizable. So I could even take this and I can, I can iron it and get that, the mark out of there. But I, you know, you can go ahead, even in the Roland software, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but you can add text to this. I would probably pull it into Silhouette Studio first and add the text. And then all you have to do is export as a JPEG or a PNG, and then you can, you know, use it in print. You cannot print directly from Silhouette Studio to the uh, direct to garment printer. You do need to use their print manager, but again, you saw how simple that was. Literally import size if you wanna adjust the brightness, which I would recommend um, you can do that, okay? And this is a pretty sure 100% cotton bag, 100% cotton canvas bag that again, you wouldn't be able to sublimate onto. You could, another option would be to use printable um, ink jet, an ink jet printable transfer. Um, you would, um, the quality wouldn't be exactly the same. The colors wouldn't pop as much. You might have, you, you know, you likely would have that kind of film on here. But again, that would be a much cheaper option, okay? So I'm not trying to give you anything other than information so you can make decisions for what may be worth it for you, just so you know what's out there, because I get questions about a ton of different things, and I do want you guys to be able to see that. I wish I could show you. So close up, you can't really see probably, but it's literally into the fabric. I'll have to take a picture and put it, um, I'll take a picture and put it in the comments closer when we get done here, all right? So anyway, if you love this design, which I think is adorable, it's a um, Chameleon Cuttables, if you know Sabine, she does gorgeous designs. It's part of the January bundle on the So Fancy page. And how cute is this for like a, a gift, anything? I just made another one, it had, it was probably, well, it was sold as a sublimation design. It was called, it said Rockstar Educator. I whipped it up very quickly for um, my son's teacher for Christmas. And then you just fill it with things or just give it as is or whatever like that. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous day. All the links in unboxing for the DTG, a link to look, you know, more at the product, um, a sublimation verse DTG, and a link to the Sofancy January bundle all up top um, if you're interested. All right. I'll see ya.